Treatment of exchange differences. In this video, let us examine the treatment of exchange differences in the books of accounts with a practical example. Let us analyze the treatment of foreign exchange differences arising on account of translating the foreign currency balances to the presentation currency in respect of monetary items. The exchange differences arise either on settlement or on remeasurement at the reporting date. In both these cases, the exchange differences are recognized in the profit and loss account. Let us briefly understand the difference between the FX revaluation entry and the FX translation entry. The FX revaluation is converting every transaction in foreign currency into functional currency at the exchange rate on the date of transaction. This means that there will be an entry in functional currency for each and every transaction in foreign currency. FX translation on the other hand is performed at the account level. There will be one journal entry for each account at the valuation date or at the settlement date based on the exchange rate on the date of valuation or settlement as the case may be. Let us take an example of accounting for the exchange differences arising on account of purchase of equity shares designated in foreign currency. Let us assume that the functional currency is INR bought 100 shares at USD 59 per share. Initial recognition in USD and the entry is shown here. The entry in foreign currency should be revalued in functional currency based on the foreign exchange rate on the date of transactions which is uh, rupees 63. The FX revaluation entered is shown here. The liability of the broker should be settled on the date of settlement, which is T plus 3. The entry would be in foreign currency as shown here. The entry in foreign currency should be revalued based on the FX rate on the date of settlement, which is rupees 63.22. The revaluation entry is shown here. On settlement of the liability to the broker, there would be either profit or loss due to the fluctuation in foreign exchange rate between the date of purchase and the date of settlement. Here, in this case, the currency has moved against the entity resulting in a loss on settlement of the liability to the broker. So, FX translation entry needs to be passed on the date of settlements as shown here. The gain or loss on settlement is computed as shown here. 